Welcome back penguins, today we are going to find out if we can beat a palace with guard only. Let's start with the rules. First one, just press circle. Second one, let the enemies do the work for us. For this challenge we need to create a Fafnir with all the possible repel. For the sake of this video, I have already created one. But in this part of the game, this was the best I could do. And now we are ready to start the challenge. The main door was destroyed because of Makoto and we couldn't enter the bank, but the level designer was with us and gave us a secret passage. There's only one way to start all my challenge, and that way is by failing them. And in fact, the first battle was a showtime tutorial. At least my other challenge will be happy to know that the enemies die in one shot. After the tutorial, we were finally free and I wanted to find out if I can kill an enemy with repel. So I ambushed an enemy as fast as I could, pressed circle, and after the first repelled attack, I was already against the wall. A persona with drain and the skill repel is like a persona only with drain, and the ring we equipped repel an attack only one time. My first idea was to wait for the moment the enemies consume all their SP so that they can start using normal attacks. But my small brain found another solution right away. I don't need to use only Fafnir. I can even use other persona for repel everything. Tried this idea right away and found out that the challenge was doable. I bought other personas so I could cover all the type of attacks and I was ready. Tried another battle and this time I was enjoying doing absolutely nothing. In the next part we found out that we needed to use an elevator to continue the exploration. But before searching a way to use it, I wanted to try another fight. And I repel a... Dur Dormina? Who brought this? Wait, you can deflect the ailment skills? The rest of the fight was a Dormina festival. I grew tired of these pixies, but at least they disappeared from nowhere. Oh, why am I missing so much speed? The next fight contained the worst combination as possible, a disaster pixie. There was only one solution, attack her so I could kill her with repel. But using the gun wasn't a big brain move, so I tried to use an item and the damage was enough to kill her. The other pixie used that moment to put me to sleep. I bet though, that's a good news. She can attack me and kill herself, but she summoned another enemy. At least the pixie disappeared and after reloading my gun, the other enemy killed himself. This palace was plagued with pixies and the only way to kill them with the repel was by breaking the rules. So I killed them with the gun every time I saw them. The rest of the enemies died with guard only. One even asked me if I could help him from himself, but the rule says to press circle. And that's what I did. After the massacre of pixies, we reached the first mini boss, but it was just a free convention. In the same room there was a shining object that Ryuji noticed, and a map of the palace. The shining object was a card that helped us jumping on the elevator and reach a lower floor. We found some cameras to try to block us, but they were useless. You can find a tutorial battle about ailment skills, where everyone is able to do whatever they want and the enemy just to kill himself. Did you know that attacks that inflict ailments work even where repel? Because I didn't. While fighting some enemies I found another disaster shadow, and the only way to repel her was by attacking her. You probably noticed and yes. She changed position. In exchange of breaking rules, I found that Disaster Shadows has a unique skill that increases the damage they're going to do to themselves. I encountered a treasure demon and it didn't attack, so I couldn't kill him with repel. But I was able to use guard, so I think we're friends now. Eh? What do you think? Oh, where are you running? After destroying a camera panel, we could continue on our path and found that we needed two keys to proceed, but hey, they are behind other cameras, so more search and destroy. At least one panel was on the right. I wanted to try this challenge against every possible enemy, and near us there was a savage shadow that didn't survive my unbeatable guard. To reach the next panel, we needed to destroy another one, and watch a shadow dies with its own hands. Disabilitated the last cameras, I went straight for the mini bosses. The game didn't want me to humiliate them in the same fight, so with a clever plan, we split them and started the fight against the first one. The enemy used only Garula and Magarula as attacks. I could repel both, but it's immune to wind damage. After several rounds, I gave in the Pixies treatment. Right after the first fight, we started the second one. 
the miniboss started fighting the same way as the other one but with a nice attack. And the bad news, one normal attack that damages. it. Maybe even the other one could use a normal attack but we never found out. Because of the possibility of beating this fight only with pressing circle, I waited. Do you remember the strategy I told you? The one about using all the SP? Well, it doesn't work, because the enemy keep using the same attack anyway. The enemy can use a normal attack, but it seems that it's really rare, so I choose to give him the same treatment as his friend. After the fight, we found another map. With both the keys, we opened the vault to reach the next part where we met Pixie's best friend, Yaxini. She was only wage war until you're infected with rage. Then she starts attacking. The only way to defeat her while guarding is by deflecting her skill, because she starts to attack you and she dies thanks to the rappel. This strategy works only against one because the ring activates only one time. To proceed, we use an elevator and reach Kaneshiro with his simp that started the fight. The enemies were the mini-bosses, we have already fought and a newcomer. We only had to confirm if it's possible to beat Yellow while pressing circle, and it was. During this fight, Sian used normal attacks, and Purple didn't. They were acting kinda sus with the attacks, so I killed them. Another elevator was ready for us, so we could proceed and reach the last part of the palace. I resume this part for you. Translate the words in numbers. Kill the same enemies with only one new shadow. Find the golden Buddha to have the pages that contain the info on how to translate the words in numbers. Think that you reached the last enemy of the palace that died because he was too strong. Find the last seed's guardian that fell into his own trap and repeat the process from the first point to the third one. Want to know about a weird interaction? If an enemy brainwashed attacks a disaster shadow, the disaster shadow attacks Joker. I'm not sure this was intended. To reach the treasure, I paid 20,000 yen to Kaneshiro, and it was finally boss time. I sent the calling card right away and started the fight. We were on a great start, the first two attacks of the enemy were repelled and did some damage. The boss, infuriated, activated his special move, super VIP form, so that he can use March of the Buddha the deals almighty damage. After his special move, he used his special move. And then his special move. When finally he used his special move. But after that, his special move. It seems that if you don't have your companions, you can't use an item to distract Kaneshiro. Probably you're thinking, why not add your companions? Because that's against the rules. We need to just press circle. And to choose an item, we need to press X. So it doesn't change how we are going to break them. I went for a slow kill in case he started using different attacks, but he didn't. When Buta died, the second part of the fight started, where Kaneshiro summons an assassin and a bodyguard. The assassin used only two attacks, power slash and headbutt that inflicts forgetfulness. So every time you use the last attack, you need to wait the turn he recovers. It's like a student, he knows everything for an exam, but when he needs, he forgets. After some turns, he was the first one to die, thanks to Repel. The bodyguard was a masochist, he went for a slow death, because he used only a normal attack the whole fight. While Kaneshiro does only 4 things, try to put Joker to sleep, increase the damage the assassin is going to take, decrease the damage the bodyguard is going to receive from himself, and rubs his hands together, so no way to damage him. I hope that maybe if I kill his assistants, he start using a different attack pattern. But as for the rest of the palace, I was wrong. I went for a slow kill again in case he started using different attacks, and this time some things changed. When he puts Joker to sleep, he used a new attack, Snap, that can be repelled, but he blocks the damage, and that's not the only bad thing. The other one is that he doesn't rub his hands together when he used that skill. What a shame, I was into that stuff. So back to square one, after some damage he used another attack that can't be repelled. When Kaneshiro is almost dead, he uses his special attack again, but he doesn't have money, so he becomes remorseful. I gave him one last chance to redeem himself, but at the end I inflicted the last damage to defeat him. So penguins, that means you can't beat a palace with only guards. Maybe you can, it just depends on the boss and if you try to avoid the pixies. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video, bye bye!